So the thing that makes it, that makes this book different than most books, I think, is that it's it, it's it's a it's a lifestyle book that meets sort of cooking, that meets do do it yourself sort of elements to it. And for me, that's really really fun because it attacks all the different parts of really what I'm about as far as a chef is concerned. We have the huge feast for 60 to 100 people, which are great for caterers and professionals and people that just sort of love the lifestyle of cooking and and and, and throwing big events. And then you have the feasts that are, that are tamed down in the home kitchen which really gives the home cook a, an ability to sort of buy off and chew as much as they want to. Teaming the Feast is organized into, into nine feasts, all sort of different, some sort of stemming the different seasons of, of the year. So we have feasts during the summertime that are really more sort of outdoor feasts. And then we actually, during the wintertime, we give you the option of having a, doing a Sunday roast feast, which is great. And then the third part really is do-it-yourself sort of elements to it, which really showcase the fun you can have with the feast, the building aspects of it. And these projects range from everywhere, thing from like blow torches to cinder blocks, so all kinds of different things you can do. Some of them are a little bit more approachable, some of them are a little bit more difficult, but I think the, the fun thing about it is you can kind of work your way through the book and build up to these huge events if you want to. It's great for the home cook, it's great for the, the gentleman who, who, is, uh, who the Weber is no longer doing it for them and they, they, want, to, they want to bump up a little bit. My experience with uh, backyard barbecuing is pretty extensive. In California, we get a little bit of uh, grief for calling it a barbecue. We actually grill out there. I really, really love cooking with wood. I think that dancing and playing with wood and fire is, is one of my favorite things to do. And this, this book has really given me an opportunity to work with wood in, in, in extreme states, you know, and, and wood fire. Um, I think it's just magical. I'm definitely attracted to it. No pyro, but I really, really enjoy wood fire cooking. And this is really a great cookbook for that kind of, that type of cooking. About eight years ago, when I first, when the restaurant was becoming, when we were kind of rounding out the concept of the gastro pub in the United States, um, we started raising or being, we're sort of gentlemen pig farmers. So we, we raise our own pigs and sheep and goat about 60 miles north of the restaurant, which is very unique uh, for, for Los Angeles. And one of my philosophies is really trying to sort of close that gap between the farmland and the back door of the kitchen. So we have our lefty, the pig farmer, comes and drops off the pig once a week. We have the honey guys who are coming through the back. You know, working with working with whole animals and working with these 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 larger cuts, you have to find a way to, to cook them. And it does eventually it sort of chase, chases you outdoors because these things don't fit into a conventional oven. And that really is sort of the beginning of my process also of, of trying to figure out how I can orchestrate these unique sort of cooking elements in order to uh, pull off these big feasts that I wanted to and cook these large animals.